Now we're going to get the ferry to France. So we are in uh, the Spanish side and the French side is on the other side. Let me show Spanish. That's the ferry. Here is Spain. And on the other side is France. There is a marina as well. We were offered to stay in that marina, but then we decided to go and stay in the Spanish side. So the Spanish marina is just down there. And today we're gonna go back and walk in the French side. And tomorrow we'll probably go to the mountains, we'll see. Okay, we're on the way to France again. We spent one day in Spain <laughs> and now we're going back. Yeah, crazy people. It's a very pleasant uh, short trip, so why not? It's too hot in Spain, let's see. It's cooler in France. Yes, yes, it is. That's the French Marina. Now we are in France. It's bigger than uh, the Spanish one. And here is the ferry terminal. Wow, what a queue. Wow. It'd be busy on the way back. Okay, welcome to France. And this is the French uh, beach. Absolutely stunning. Stanis wants to stay here. Absolutely, I want to stay here. Don't, uh, Christ for months. For the summer months. Yeah. I don't know in which part of Spain is French. They're both north. Oh, it's Super nice table tennis. We should have taken our uh, table tennis to play on that. And that's Spain. And Spanish is buying a cup of coffee. Beautiful. This is the view from Chateau Abadia. The brochure. The brochure and the chateau. We're gonna be visiting it in uh, about one hour. This is a nice um, natural reserve park with uh, beautiful it's walks. By the French Academy of uh, Science at the moment. And it was built by Eugene Violet Le Duc between 1864 and 1888. It's nice. inspired by the models of med medieval forts and demonstrates the o its own fashion by Orient. Very good. Let's go and walk around the chateau.
We are about to discover the home of an exceptional man, Anthony Debedee, born in Dublin in 1810 and died in Paris in 1897. An extensive traveler, he drew the first map of Ethiopia following an 11-year stay in this country. A geodesist and an astronomer, his interest included vertical variations, microseismic phenomena the source of the Nile and even celestial cartography. Observatory. The room is vast and empty, completely void of decoration. The telescope is nested in a sort of a alcove bounded by a pointed arch. The astronomer lying on the bench therefore observed the stars in their transit. The Abadia, the Abadia astronomers completed 14 star catalogues in this observatory, representing almost 50,000 stars. The library. The library is located at the Chateau's heart, a place of work and reflection. It is a symbol of Anthony the Abadie's eclectic mind. This library held more than 10,000 volumes, including more than 960 Basque works. Pay attention to the curtains. He engraved them with uh, shamrocks, Irish shamrocks, to show his uh, roots. Hello friends, today it's kind of our last day off in uh, what's the name? <laughs> on the Arabia. Um, we it was like 28 degrees during the day so we went to the beach and we actually swam in the water it was 24 degrees really pleasant and now we decided to go for a little walk and explore again the old town which we saw yesterday quickly and we were really really stunned it's a lovely place i've never seen such an architecture very different than everything else i've seen so far so we are gonna go back there and do a small video for you to see as well and maybe we can share it it's not the same on the camera but we can share a little bit of the lovely experience we had yesterday, hopefully. Um, so, see you later. And that's uh, on the Ribia Marina. Here is uh, Juniper 2 on the back. That's the visitor pontoon. G is the visitor pontoon in case you need it. And uh, I'll show you now the entrance to the marina. And then we're gonna walk to the town. Not a long walk, 10 minute walk to the town. So, uh, there is the entrance. Loads of motorboats going in and out. Uh, but they kind of respect the speed limit. So it isn't uh, that bad really. There is a small swell, but it's uh, not bad. The beach on, on the Ribia is on the other side of uh, the trees, very close to us, very close to the marina. And that's uh, the mountain on the back. It's a really beautiful, peaceful place. Uh, we really like it. Stanis is getting ready to go for our evening walk and dinner. So, uh, let's... Uh, get now to the old city. And uh, now we are on the walk to the town. It's uh, 
a walk uh, around the bay on the other side is France and uh, on this side is Spain it's uh, supposed to it's supposed to be very hot tomorrow 37 degrees so we are getting ready we bought a fan today so that we can uh, try cool ourselves or just jump into the sea which is about uh, 24 degrees not bad Today was pleasant at the beach and that's the walk in front of us. Epa. Me encontré a una niña tan bonita y ella siempre se ha parecido a Yema y ya y por la calle con su ropa azul camina y todo el mundo está gritando ay cómo va y a We did a few evenings, a couple of evenings, tapas in this place, Ignacio, really, really nice tapas, but today we're gonna try uh, something else, again tapas probably, but somewhere else. <laughs> Rivia. Uh, so yeah that's one of the entrances so we're gonna go up and see those stunning houses and the view to the French part again the ramparts are just over there so we're gonna see it. Really don't think twice if you really want to go to this dance it's not really if I ever go here, I will probably be a desperate woman. This is probably some inheritance from the Inquisition, let's say. Look, look at the sign. <laughs> That's not the dance. Me encontré a una niña tan bonita Y ella siempre se ha parecido a Yema y ya Y por la calle con su ropa azul camina Todo el mundo está gritando, ay cómo va y a responder. Con la cabeza, ella sonríe y sigue bajando así al mar. Como dice, ya la 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 ya la
this is the queue for the for this restaurant for the tapas bar. Wow, it's the fiesta siesta thing now, and people are queuing. When a table is free, they just go and sit, and that's the queue. So cool to wait on a queue for a restaurant. <laughs>